hey guys welcome back to another sit down video all right so today i'm going to share a new update with you you know a new story of my life with you so this actually happened recently um and the reason i want to share it with you is because you guys already saw the beginning of it like the, um, the starting point of it so i need to update you guys on what's up so you guys remembered in one of my previous vlog that I posted some time ago I think during last month or so yeah last month so you guys saw me writing an application for a job okay so that was a job I applied for in um, in a pharmacy apotheke that's what the Dutch calls it actually Andre hooked me up with a, uh, with a pharmacy thing so but I was asked to write an application which I did actually so after the vlog you guys saw you know the application vlog so um two days no was it two days because actually that vlog was on Friday I did that vlog on Friday and on Monday or Tuesday of it which was the following week so I got a call from the from the apotheque from the pharmacy so I got a call I was feeling that day actually I was just here filming and um, luckily for me that day I was able to see that film because I was doing a TikTok video actually that was why I could see because my phone is always on silent especially when I'm filming my phone is always on, on silent which is why some people complain a lot that when they try to reach me they can't reach me I'm sorry for that so I just have to make that clear so um, I call, they called me on that day I was surprised i never i was not even expecting it and i picked the call and so they said they were speaking to they were like um they are from the apotheke that, that that was like oh my god please do you speak english because i just don't want to get any information that i wouldn't understand fully you understand so i was like okay please do you guys speak english the person that was talking to me and he said yes yeah. so he started talking in english and he said oh yeah so um we are calling you in respect of the job application you applied for i was like yes in my heart i was happy i was like yes 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 but i was calm talking to him and he said okay so you can have the job now i was like oh my god no at first because the application the the one that was available at first that they said they asked for they were requesting for someone who needed a mini job which was only on sunday he told me that that it was only available for on Sunday. Was it not only some? Was it not a normal jo uh, a mini job I was looking for? I was like, oh, if I can find a full time job, that would be so great. And he said, yes, of course I can. I was like, okay, good. And he said, okay, now so you can have the job as long as you have a car and you can drive yourself to work. I was like. Uh, so when he said that I was like okay I do not have a car but I can always find my way there find my way to work and he was like oh no sorry you cannot do this job without having a car because the distance from where in his voice actually or in his words it was like the the distance from the pop, the train station to the place of work is like walking forever <sighs> all right guys sorry for that little break okay so um just in case you're hearing any noise herbert is beside right here like it's on this corner right here like where i'm pointing anyways so um immediately he told me that like he told me that i cannot get the job without having a car i was like okay this is it again so to be honest there's nothing i can do about it i just have to let it go which is why i am so 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 confused right now because getting a license um driving license is not even the main thing right now first of all it's expensive to what i've to my due to my research i know it's up to 2000 or i should save up to like 2000 euro before i can get um before i can get my driving license and um that is really discouraging to be honest it is really discouraging um, one thing that this thing made me realize is i'm getting closer to something good yeah i don't want to beat myself so much with because of this so i'm getting closer to something i believe will be good and somehow in my mind i'm thinking i would have really really loved this job 
I would have loved it. Also consider the fact that it's outside my country, like the, com the country I'm in, you know, it's in Netherlands, Holland, okay? Yeah, so that was how I, I couldn't get the job, which is so, so, so sad. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I already shared the part where I applied for the job with you guys before. And this is what's up. This is what's up right now. To be honest, I don't even know what I can do right now. I don't know. Because I need something that can guarantee me, or rather that can, yeah, guarantee me of my health insurance. You know, something really, really tangible. Something I will do for a long time. You get. So, I don't know. I don't see, I don't see Rachel, my people. So, that's how I lost the job. And yeah so that's it i just don't want to bore you guys with this mood the the mood in at the end of this video but yeah it is what it is so please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below in case you watch it to this point of the video what do you think i would like to know your thought in the comment section and um just in case you have an opportunity to get your driving license please don't joke with it don't play with it at all and yeah another thing i got to realize is that because I am no longer under the government according to what they said, or rather I'm no longer under asylum. If I was and I got this job, they would have paid for the driving license and all of that, which would have been really, really, which would have been good and would have been a great thing for me, but I am not. Anything that concerns me right now, I have to deal with it myself. So yeah, this is basically it guys. This is what's up. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you get notified whenever I have a new video up. And also follow me up on Instagram. Oh, subscribe to my beauty channel, Delia's Empire. On there, I do beauty, fashion, whatever, anything that relates to beauty actually. Makeup, hair tutorial and all of that hauls which i haven't done for a very long time now but yeah just go check it out i believe you will also love it on there and on here i share my life my experience and most especially my experience living in germany with you guys so check out my instagram page at Delia's empire and also check out my business page on instagram at Delia's brand the link to everything will be in the in the description bar please do check it out this hair is by she's a money collection Please go check it out. And while you are on there, don't forget to use Delia15 for a 15% discount off. Alright? So, yeah. This is basically it, guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Until next time, guys. Watch out for Delia's vlog.